All new on Fox 5 News Edge at 11, finding a killer. Police need your help tracking down whoever shot an East Point father in the doorway of his own home. Tonight, for the first time, the man's family is talking to just one station about the senseless murder. I don't know. It's to, it still feels like yesterday, but there, yeah, I know it's been a year. But every time I think about it, I'm still shocked. Tanya Green says it feels like yesterday when she got word that her brother, 29 year old Robert Green Jr., was shot and killed. Grief of, you know, the separation and very unexpected. It just kind of happened. But then the second thing is, um, it's kind of agonizing, not the fact that it happened. We don't know why, we don't know who did it. East Point police are trying to put together those pieces of the investigation. They say on April 4th, 2017, Green answered a knock on the door of his apartment on Spanish Trail before someone shot him multiple times. Detective Ebony Johnson tells Fox 5 only Green's nephew and four-year-old daughter were inside at the time. And the nephew could only provide that he saw a black male wearing all black running out of the apartment at the time of the homicide. With details so slim, Johnson stresses investigators are depending on the public. You have someone who's out here who has murdered someone, essentially, and they are a threat to the public. Um, and it's just imperative that we find out who this person is, because if they haven't done it again, we don't want them to do it again. The Green family couldn't agree more, and on the anniversary of this young man's tragic death, loved ones seek justice and closure. There are happy times that we had together. But there are also sad times because there aren't any more birthdays. I think the hardest part is not knowing the why or the who and that somebody took his life.